Hola, witches, magical minds, and our mundane allies. It is December 4th, 2018. These are the cards of our day. We are working with the Oracle of the Mermaids today, just because it's supposed to be a little rainy or, you know, cloudy. It looks like it's going to rain today, so I figured that would be a, a good... Um, a good deck to work with. It's Tarot Tuesday, and what that means is we do the card, the cards of the day publicly for free every Tuesday on my page, The Deviant Witch, and you're more than welcome to participate. Uh, and this is where we do it every single Tuesday. Um, give me a minute to be crazy right now. I'm going to share this in the group All Things Witchcraft, which uh, it's Tarot Tuesday there as well. So if I don't see you at the moment because I'm trying to share this over there um, and then I'm doing it actually a little early well really early for me uh, because y'all if it's not one thing it's another it's so funny um, but they're supposed to come to, some people are coming today to fix fixed no coffee and it's early. So uh, I don't know, they're supposed to be working on the house or working on the, the heating, the AC unit. Um, they're redoing it. They're just, I don't know, there's gonna be a lot of noise and they're supposed to be here between like now and um, an hour from now. So they're coming from like an hour away. So I'm hoping that they'll be here later. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm doing this early. And if you hear noise, I apologize. It might be noisy. I'm not quite sure when they're going to be here. Uh, so good morning, also. Hey, Julie. Hey, Kate. I can't scroll up, so I don't see any more. Hey, Minuet and Jennifer. But yeah, that's why I'm kind of doing it early, trying to get it uh, done so we don't have too much distractions. We're working with Oracle of the Mermaids. It's Tarot Tuesday. We're going to have fun. Um, yeah, we are. We're gonna have lots of fun. And I'm just trying to find some space to put shit. Yes, hey Leslie. Uh, yeah, so every Tuesday we do our cards of the day publicly. The rest of the week I do them uh, privately for those who are a part of patreon.com. Uh, patreon.com slash the Witch. So anyone that's part of my uh, Patreon experience, you get the rest of the cards of the day throughout the week. Hey Tink. Hey, Carmen. And so, yeah, I don't mind the, the craziness that is, I just got out of the shower and, you know, put some clothes on and here we are. We're going to get to it uh, because we don't want too much distraction. Uh, so, yeah, I am dedicated to making sure that the work gets done no matter what. So waking up even uh, earlier than normal. Oh, well, that's what you got to do, right? So, yeah. Hey, Callie. Hey, Angie. Good to see your name. Hope work is going well. Hey, uh, I I can't. Like, I need to get coffee, but right now, I'm like, I don't even know if I have time. So, no coffee. We are going to do the work. Um, you drink the coffee for me, and hopefully, you know, that's my noise, you know, because when you have the Deviant Witch experience, you get sound effects, you get facial expressions, you get it all. Um, so, yeah. Good morning, Aaron. I don't know if you've uh, seen, this is the back. The back to the cards, super cute. Hey, Justine, good morning. Oh, hello, Marley. Uh, so yeah, check out uh, All Things Witchcraft, it's Tarot Tuesday. Uh, I shared an article uh, there yesterday to promote discussion, so it was interesting to see different perceptions on light workers and uh, witches and the differences and similarities and yada yada yada. Uh, and I just ramble because I want to make sure that we shuffle this uh, no coffee, right? <laughs> uh, Haley, um, I want to make sure that this deck is shuffled pretty well. So I ramble and you got to listen to me ramble and we ramble together. So if you haven't already, take some time to ground yourself, place your hand on your heart space or on your chest area and just focus on your breathing, feel your breathing. So, you know, as you inhale, breathe in good vibes, good energy, positive energy, things that you need in your life right now, feel the energy coming into you. 
and hold it for a few seconds. And then as you exhale, as you release your breath, see the energy release. And as it releases, it releases all that is no longer in service to you, you know, no longer benefits you, all toxicity, anything that is holding you back, release that. And then again, as you breathe in, you focus on your heartbeat, you breathe in, you focus on what is in your highest and best, you focus on the good energy and just taking in good vibration to help you throughout your day. And then again, as you exhale, as you release that breath, um, you release, you know, the tension, you release the, the frustration, the anger, you know, anything that is holding you back right now, you just allow it to be gone as you exhale. <sighs> well, hey, Lillian. I am absolutely wonderful, Ashley. That's how I feel on the inside. It might not look like that right now because I'm tired, but I feel good. I feel really good, especially having each and every one of you here part of this experience. It makes me happy, and I look forward to your participation. So what we do here is I channel, and I shuffle, and I focus on a general message that we can all benefit from, something that we can all tap into. And then when I ask you, not right now, but when I do ask you, you will comment with the first number, boom, that pops into your head, which will be one, two, or three. That will be designated to a stack. That stack will have a card that is your dominant influence for the reading. The other two cards in the reading will be your supporting card. So all three cards will make sense. All three cards will flow with one another, but the card that you choose will be your dominant influence. So it helps you to just fine tune your experience, fine tune the message, a general message that you can actually use to fine tune uh, for your perception, for your um, situation that you're in right now. So just my way of kind of helping it uh, get a little more personal, I guess, you know what I mean? So that's what we do. And I let me shuffle maybe one more time and... Okay, so this is where you get to participate. So the first number that pops into your head, the first number that you just feel like you have to express, one, two, or three, go ahead and comment, let me know, or write it down. Just remember, this is your experience and your experience alone. You do not have to comment publicly. I'm not gonna force you to. It's about you, so you getting the most out of this experience. So if that means writing it down and taking notes, do so. It's all about your experience okay so comment if you like and i love hearing your thoughts but if you want to keep it to yourself that's also important to so do so as well hey lexi hey lorna oh no well hopefully drink some orange juice and vodka and that's a healing that's a healing tonic or emergency or just orange juice you know these cards are gorgeous. Yes, they are. Hey, Kat. Good to see you. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Busy. Okay, good. You have the coffee. Great. You keep drinking. Drink, drink, drink. Uh, hey, Jessica. Oh, thank you. Hey, Emily. Okay. Morning. Hey, Marianne. Hey, Robot. Hey, Esther. One, two, okay, here we go. We're catching up. One, one, two, two, three, three, two, 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 three. Got it, got it. Hey, Barbara. Um, two. Weird, but two today. Okay, it's okay to be weird. <gasps> Moonshine does a body interesting. Yes. <laughs> hey, Megan. Um Okay, one, two, three. Uh, so that will be the numbers that you choose from. And if you're watching the recording, go ahead and, and comment still because you're still part of this. Even if you're watching the recording, you're still part of this experience. So you can comment one, two, or three, and that is absolutely fine. Uh, and for those who are participating now, you can comment as well or just write it down. That's absolutely up to you. So one, two, or three. And <clears throat> we will go with that. So, are you ready? Oh, well, there you go. One, okay. Awesome, so card number one, card number one, there is no five, there is one, two, or three. Um, so card number one is very interesting. We start off the reading, you know, Tarot Tuesday, we start off the reading with sisterhood. Friendship, allies, compatible souls, loyalty, joy, and delight. 
So sisterhood, what, again, when you're receiving the messages, when you're receiving the information from the cards, anything that pops into your head, feel free to share or write it down, um, but comment, let me know what you think. And when I show you the card, what you see, you know, what, uh, what comes up for you, what you feel, anything so we can have a conversation and grow and expand our messages. So card one is sisterhood, friendship, allies, compatible souls, loyalty, joy, and delight. Okay. It's glossy, I know, sorry. So, sisterhood. Try to see if you can see that. Okay. A newfound sense of belonging and community with people who are kin to you on a soul level. This is not to draw you together with people who you have necessarily already experienced many lifetimes with, to draw you into close and caring relationships that is with people who are at a similar level to yourself on an energetic and evolutionary level. This means your development will soon accelerate and be stimulated by others. Rather than feeling you are guiding and repairing, you will this time be stretched and guided yourself. Ooh, fun. Uh, these relationships will be healthy, healing, enjoyable, and free yet loyal and very committed. It is not past life material that will come forth. It is simply that you are now ready to meet your soul kin. And the mermaids will ensure you meet in a variety of interesting and sometimes unusual ways. Enjoy. So sisterhood. And for those of you who are new, when I work with Oracle decks, I like to give you a little bit from what the creator of the deck has expressed, and then we can expand upon it. We get to talk about it and share our own thoughts and what we pick up uh, psychically, intuitively, uh, and such. So, sisterhood, friendship, allies, compatible souls, loyalty, joy, delay. I love the emphasis that this is not about past life material. This is not about, you know, past life energy. It's more about right now you are awakening and opening up to new pathways that will help you bring more of your soul kin or those who are, you know, meant to be with you uh, and have certain alignments and agreements. Mm-hmm. Best friends, our family to me, soul group, yep. Mm-hmm. Blessed be Lily, have fun. Yeah, I'll definitely watch uh, later. Rooted in or needing to return to divine femininity. I like that. Uh, oh, look, community. I know, community. It's very interesting. That, uh, it's interesting, too, because I, I have been meditating on community a lot lately, and it's been something that I've not necessarily forced. It's been something that sort of like flowed into, have, has been flowing into uh, my thought process and the things that I've been working. It's it's really of service and community and connection and not in um, not in an egoic egoic way, uh, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but in a way that is like, hey, we have similar interests. Why don't we work together? to help boost one another, to support one another, to um, uplift one another. And maybe I can learn something from you for sure, and maybe you can learn something from me, and we can just grow because we are in a similar field, or it's not necessarily about we are in competition with one another because we offer different things to the world. And so if we can work together and just you know see each other's strengths and weaknesses and challenges and whatever, we can help one another grow to a very different level. And me growing in my field and you growing in the same field, but you to your own thing, it's a beautiful thing because we offer so much more. Does that make sense? Yeah, this is the first, Rilla, this is the first card, uh, Bethany. Mm -hmm. Togetherness, love, hanging out with friends. Uh-huh. Spiritual awakening. We are all coming into a connection with our original soul group. We all need to support. We all need to support group around us. Uh huh. Yeah. And there is no. Um. There is no shame. There is no weakness in having a support group. There is no shame and weakness in and finding people that you can connect with and sharing and growing with one another. There is no shame in that. Some people like to. You know, there are certain energies that like to say, "Hey, you can't do it alone." It's like, okay, not being able to do it alone or. Choosing not to do it alone is not a sign of weakness. It's not saying that I can't, but it's so much more rewarding and fun when you have people that you can grow with and you have people you can communicate with like we do here. We talk about the cards, we share our thoughts, and we, we expand messages. And so, 
you know, I can do this alone, yes. And it's very, it'd be very one-sided, but yes, I can still do this. But it's so much more that we open it up to one another. And as we express different words, we pick out different things and we grow the message, which hits home with much more um, energies, you know, with more people. And I think that's uh, extremely beautiful. Uh-huh. Hey, Natal, solidarity. Uh, to an AA this past week when I got my one year. A, A, A. Oh, shit. Uh, awesome. Well, congratulations. Yes. So, okay. Let's see. Sorry, I'm trying to keep up. Okay. Now, sisterhood, friendship, allies, compatible souls, loyalty, joy, and delight. Be very open. Right now, I feel like this card is giving us this offering, this understanding, like, okay, it's um, this is very, 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 very important. There's a key here. It is not about past life ties, people who were once with us. This is about what we want for ourselves and where our heart is, where our investment is. And so we have to pay attention to where we are headed by understanding what we want to experience in life. Where is our heart invested? What do we want for ourselves? What reality do we choose to live in? What are our ideals and our, our ethics, our morals? What, what, what fun do we want to have? What adventures do we want to have? We have to pay attention to all of that. It is not based on the past. It is not based on other people. It is based on our own expression of soul, our expression of spirit. And so where do we want to go? Where are we headed? And if we can pay attention to that, we focus on that energy, then the pathway will open up where other people who are maybe headed in the same direction, but in their own reality, in their own world, based on their own thoughts and such, or similar directions, they will be placed in our life, on our path, connecting to create this experience where we can do this together. It could be about circles forming, covens forming. It could be about study groups forming. It could be about healing uh, healing groups forming. Um, shit, it could be about movies, like a movie group. Like you get together once, in, uh, once a month or once uh, every few weeks, whatever, uh, to watch a movie and discuss. It could be a book club. It could be anything, but something that's very important to you and realize like, hey, you don't have to do this alone. You are not in this alone. If you have an interest in this, and that means someone else has an interest in this as well and you can discuss these things have conversations and grow and expand your awareness and consciousness by putting yourself out there and being open to having new friends being open to uh, understanding other people taking the time to work with others in order to understand more about your group and your mission your your sole purpose Exactly. Yes. Minds and hearts on the same page can do so much more than people will know. They really can. And it doesn't mean that you lose your own personality. It doesn't mean that you, lo you lose your own spark. No, it doesn't mean that at all. And I think that's where some people get apprehensive and, and rightfully so. You don't want to lose your identity. You should not have to lose your identity, your personality when you become um, it's okay, Angie, I can't speak today. So um, you shouldn't have to lose your identity, your personality when you become a part of a group. Your individuality is very important and vital to a group space, but you can all come to an understanding that, hey, we are here for this reason. And so when you grow and each and every one of you in a, a part of a group will help one another grow, um, it's a very... I keep saying it, it's a very beautiful thing because you're there in support of one another. You support, you grow, you challenge because, you know, let's let's face it, when you're a part of a group and depending on how long you're together, it's like family. You challenge one another, you get frustrated with one another, but you don't have to focus on the, the drama of it all. You can focus on the reward of it all, the rewarding sense that you are together and you're going to do this together, you're working together, and you will face these things together, whether it be challenge, drama, friction, chaos, you know, whatever it is, breakups, heartache, you face it together and you will work through it and that's a it's a really it's an honorable thing um and so there's so much to, to be said about sisterhood and, and you know these are the mermaids so yes we have sisterhood but it's brotherhood as well or however you want to express it uh <sighs> awesome jessica yes so 
What? Sorry, I'm like Bethany. That is that. That's absolutely wonderful. I am so happy for you. That's exciting. I just signed uh, with a publishing house to get myself out there. In the past, I tried to do it myself and failed. Well, hey, congratulations. That's absolutely exciting. I am so happy for you. I love. I'm a writer. I love writing. I love you know. So I'm in the works in the process of writing quite a few books. Um, I don't have a publishing house, and that's okay. You know, that's not for everybody. And I like that that happened for you. I'm so happy for you. That's awesome. Um, anything that builds us up, healing happens without realizing when we gather to build each other up. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. And so that is card one. So pay, pay attention. Again, if this is your dominant card, this is a card you chose, this could be a very important time, very integral time for you to reach the, the understanding of it's time to grow with others. It's time to, um, you can still keep your, your you know, solitary practice, but it might be time to, to grow with others in certain ways. So just be open to it. Be open to receiving uh, that information. Okay. And so here we have card two. Again, dominant for those who chose card two, supporting for those who did not. Card two is the unseen. Interesting. The unseen. Too much is hidden from you. Too much is hidden from you. What does that mean? That is kind of ominous. Uh, the unseen. Too much is hidden from you. So what is that expressing? You get to see my computer screen through the card. So look out for hidden clauses and contracts, trusting because it feels right as part of wishful thinking. Have building inspections or examinations. Have a routine checkup and do not engage in surgery or invest in something because it is exciting and new. Think carefully before taking up with new people and their proposal. Consider what lies beneath the surface because there are rocks, there are currents, and there is debris. And there are dangers, and only those who know these waters will be able to help you. Also, use your own powers, measure the depth of commitment, carry out a survey so you come to understand far better the place you are about to go, and do not feel bad about doing so. It may seem far less romantic and idealistic and may rob you of a moment of charm and heightened delight, but it may save broken limbs, deep cuts, great hurts, and even irreparable injuries. Trust the mermaids on this. They have been below, and they know far better than you or me what lies beneath the situation. I think this is actually quite funny. Look at here. I have a hair like... Sorry. It's, it's funny that it follows the card we just discussed. I think it's hilarious. Um, it's kind of like contradicting, but it's not contradicting at the same time. It's just saying, hey, there is a new pathway opening up for you, okay? Sisterhood, brotherhood, kinship. You are about to embark on a journey that is going to put you into a place where you can connect with others. But there is so much that is unseen. And what the unseen is, is your unconscious, uh, uh, the, the programming and the patterns that, of which we've been talking about in my Patreon group a lot. So you will all understand what the unseen is here. It is everything that you are manifesting on a deeper level that is based on old programming that you don't even realize that you are calling to you or manifesting you know what i mean and so the unseen it's like okay be very aware yes you want to be a part of group and you want your you're looking forward to the kinship and the connection and and you're working towards this and but you will really don't realize that there's this undercurrent of of energy of vibration that is expressing what you really don't want and what you don't want to happen and so that's like the dominant energy that's kind of calling forth and so this group comes forth and like oh wow this is the perfect person this is the perfect people for me to, to interact with and in reality it wasn't the the desire on the the surface that was calling that out it was the undercurrent the, the thing that's the underlying energy that was actually calling it out and so you are calling forth this group that might be extremely toxic for you because you didn't do the work to release the undercurrent energy, the underlying energy, and really focus on a solution. Does that make sense? Hopefully that's making sense. But that's where I feel the unseen is coming in. Um, uh, 
where this card is coming in in regards to the reading that is unfolding right now. Um, so let's see. Yeah, open your eyes and pay attention. Be very discerning. So yes, you can be excited, you can have fun, you can want adventure, but be very discerning in the energies that you surround yourself with. Be very discerning about the new energies. Just because you want something doesn't mean that it's going to come to you just right right then and there. And if and when it does, um, pay attention to, to the, the energies you feel. Pay attention to your intuition, to what your guides are saying, and pay attention to the very discerning energy you should have when that happens. Is it too good to be true? It doesn't have to always be be like, oh, it is too good to be true. Um, it doesn't have to always be a negative thing. Just be very aware. And it gets, says go back and get back to your core. Get back to what you really want for yourself. Get back to what is very important to you. And, and get back to your heart. So get rid of the, the programming that is holding you back and release the things that are toxic to you. And when you're focused on, you know, the solution, when you're focused on having a great time, when you're focused on, you know, repairing certain things, when you're focused on having a group support network that is in your highest and best, and you keep focusing on that, by focusing on the solution and the having of it all, then you will be in a place where the unseen is no longer. You are focusing and creating the scene. And so, Destiny, you can't see it until you, you concentrate. Uh, expect the unexpected, be cautious and investigate matters thoroughly. Exactly, exactly, be very discerning. Uh, working through something, being cautious, watching your own back, mm-hmm. Mm hmm Deception. Uh, at the end, it's called unveiling, and uh, all of our manipulation throughout the world is coming to light. Everyone is starting to wake up. Uh, I'm just sound. So this is scary. Uh, Hubby and I were just talking about necessary surgery for me. Uh, okay. Well, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And it's just time. It's time to get more information. So before you, you take action, before you make decisions, Ask for more information. If you're in a consultation, it, it, shit. If you're getting your hair done and you know your your stylist has an idea, ask for more information. How much maintenance is this? You know, do, is this a high maintenance style or is it a low maintenance style? Because maybe you don't want a high maintenance style and you just said do whatever and they're gonna give you a high maintenance do and it's like no, I don't want that. So ask more questions, get more information. You know, how is the integrity of my hair going to be after this? You know, um, are there certain products I'll have to be using every day in order to maintain the integrity of my hair after the procedure, after the, the color, the service? Ask questions. The unseen, too much is hidden from you right now. <sighs> it's very important to pick apart everything that comes at you in a, in a different feeling way. So when you feel like, oh, there's something more to this. Like you understand, like when we interact with things, like, oh, I like the words. I like the idea of it. The imagery is really cute, but I, I feel something wrong. I'm not wrong, but I feel something else. Like there's something else I'm not getting here. And so that's when we, okay, ask more questions. Let's get to the core and the root of this because there's something that's not being uh, expressed and I'm gonna unearth this shit. Because I'm not going to be making, you know, decisions, taking action based on surface material. Let's get to the core. Let's get to the heart. <sighs> hey, Andrew. So, this is card two, the unseen. Uh, so, let's see. So yes, the unseen. So pay attention, and pay attention to to the groups that you're you're with, and, and ask questions. And it's okay if you if a coven wants you, if a circle wants you, if you want to be a part of them, you can ask as many questions as you want. You have that right, and you should put yourself out there, but be very discerning before you take action. So just take this time, this moment, to collect as much information as possible. See how you will get on with it, and then once you have all the information you need. Boom, take action, you know? That's when to do, that's when you do it. So card three, again, dominant for those who chose card three, supporting for those who did not, the Selkie and her skin. 
This is actually really, I like the flow of these cards. It's giving me the chills. The Selkie and her skin, reclaiming your authenticity. So what is that, uh, what does that express to you? The Selkie and her skin, reclaiming your authenticity. If this card has come to you, it is time to dance, to be free and to join with groups of women who wish to simply be. Free to dance under the moonlight, free of dogma and even political correctness, a time without children, without relationships, and without other couples around you. The joys of being single or of being free, a uh, time to leave family and partners for a while to claim your sea skin back. Choose safe environments. Do not trust people who come to you at this time and want to take care of you. This may be code for wishing to capture you. Go to a place where you are among your own gender, where you can be nurtured by contact with your own kind. Find a sacred place to visit and commit to a regular timeout in that safe haven. It is now time for you to support and encourage the freedom of other humans and creatures. When we do this, our own freedom becomes more natural to us. Make a donation for seal conservation. Uh, do not support practices or companies that benefit from the seal hunts that still take place. Visit the lands of Sucky lore and legend, the Orney, Orney, Orkney, Isles. Uh, in the far north of Scotland, Iceland, and Scandinavia, uh, Northern Ireland, and her cold seas, or travel in visions, past life memories, and dreams, and set your selfie self free. Okay. I like this card, but there's some terminology in here that kind of bothers me, and I guess we can talk about that in a second. But, um... The silk in her skin reclaiming your authenticity. It's a powerful card for sure. Uh, I feel like it's not just about gender though. It's about spirituality. It's about what makes you feel comfortable, what you need to work through. So maybe it is about, you know, uh, going into an all inclusive women's group or all inclusive male group or, you know, may, it could be about that. It doesn't have to be. So it just depends on what you personally need. So that's something that you're going to have to discern for yourself. Do you need to be a part of a, an all women's group, uh, you know, inclusive women's group uh, and, or an inclusive, uh, you know, male group. Do, is that something that you need right now? Do you need to be around more men, more women, whatever? But I don't feel like it has to solely be that. It could be, it could be a group of, of men and women, um, you know? And there's, there, uh, yeah, that's just, that's one thing that kind of like bothers me about that. But that's my thing. Um, so the selfie and her skin, reclaiming your authenticity. It's about feeling safe. It's about feeling um Another thing, I guess, that kind of bothers me about this card is saying to to live single, and it's not saying to live single, but it's it's, it's saying that your uh, your relationships hold you back, and if that's the case, that should, it's, that's something that you have to deal with. But I don't think that all relationships have to hold you back. Like, yes, it's important to have alone time, so yeah, that's cool, that's fine. But I don't feel like relationships can have to hold you back. You can have and be in a relationship where both parties support one another, and you can grow, and you can have fun, and you get crazy, and you don't have to like hide yourself from your partner does that make sense and so there's a few things that i'm meh, iffy about with this card but i understand where where it's coming from it is saying the self and her skin reclaiming your authenticity be in spaces where you feel supported nourished where you feel you can be empowered and you can let your your sort of your guard down so you can become a part of the whole group the whole connection and you can dance and be free and that's kind of what uh what this card is expressing okay and it's saying hey it's time it's time to to let your guard down it's time to connect with people and it's time to to be free be fun and have fun uh but in a place of empowerment you know, this is not a time for other people to to hold you back by saying, oh, I'll take care of that for you. I'll do this for you. I'll do this for you. And, and we want people to do these things for us. But right now, it's like you have to do this for yourself. It's about uh, being your own individual. And yes, it would make your life easier if someone else did this for you. But you know deep down you have to do it for yourself. Maybe in the future they can offer again and you'll say, yes, yeah, that'd be fine. But right now, it's about you understanding your own authentic nature. And by doing these things for yourself, you will understand what is in your highest and best. You will understand what you like and what 
what you do not like, and it will help you reclaim your power back by, by allowing yourself to, to uh, individually be strong. And so as you're individually strong, you're having fun, you're enjoying yourself and doing these things for you, you're also connecting with others who can do the same thing, and you support one another. It goes back to sisterhood, and, and it goes back to all of that group energy. You, you create this space where you are safe, and all are safe together. Okay. Be yourself who cares what others. <laughs> Seals. I thought that said Sears. I'm like, wow, someone's so excited about Sears. Okay, girl. Uh, being happy in your own skin, freedom, be yourself. Exactly. Uh, getting back to your authentic self. Exactly. Uh, shedding that which does not fit or serve your purpose and enjoy. Exactly. Um, be happy with who you are. Be happy and learn to be happy. Learn to, to express yourself um, as you see fit because you are a unique individual. You have something to offer. And just like for me, uh, again, we'll talk about me because I can put it into perspective. My hair is fucked right now. Like it's wet. It's it's not the greatest. It's kind of ugly right now because it's wet and it's not done. And normally, like I wouldn't even be on here, you know, because like I don't like that. I like to present myself a certain way and I feel like I'm messy at right now, you know, but I also, my passion is the message. You know, my passion is, you know, being able to communicate with you and share space with you. My passion, my mission is to be here with each and every one of you and to do the work. You know, the work doesn't care what I look like. I care what I look like. I I care what I present myself as, but there were circumstances that required me to be here earlier and not ready fully. You know what I mean? And so eh, my authentic self is the work, the, the soul engagement, the spirituality, you know? And so I had to get over that. You know, I might want to present myself a specific way, but that's not necessarily my authentic nature. My authentic nature is me being here in any way I can and being happy with myself. I've learned to be happy with, you know, okay, it's a little, my hair's wet, I look kind of crazy, I'm breaking out a little bit. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with people seeing me as me. I don't have to put makeup on. I can choose to if I wanted to, but I don't have to. I'm okay now with more of you being able to see me in a certain light, you know? And so I, it's taken me a long time to be able to be slightly comfortable in that space even though i'm not fully comfortable i was slightly comfortable in that space and so we still work on the message and we still work on what is actually important and i think that's uh you know the self you know her skin reclaiming your authenticity it's very important that you learn that be comfortable in your skin it is your body and your body is precious whether you define yourself as super skinny super thin you know uh, thick obese Whatever, whatever it is, your body is, is, your body is beautiful. Your body is yours. It is your vehicle. It's your temple. And so you are able to treat it as sacred. And it doesn't matter what other people say. What matters is what you feel on the inside and what you feel on the outside. It's you. What matters is you and how you connect with yourself. Outside shit does not matter. It's you. You are the one that matters, your connection to authenticity, your connection to self, and how you feel. And when you can come to a place where you accept yourself as you are, it just uh, it feels really good. And it's not something that I don't think, uh, when you accept yourself as you are, I don't think that just, boom, every day you're accepting yourself as you are. I think that it's a process. I might accept, accept myself as I am today, and then tomorrow I might struggle with it. But it's a process that we work, you know, we work uh, through. Awesome. Be, be yourself and who you want to be. I uh, want to hug the seals. Awesome. Hey, Jessica. Uh, finding the you you're meant to be. Awesome. I want a seal. <laughs> hey, Oli. Uh, the seal to seal the fate of what you make. Uh, this are awesome. Good. Uh, I think we can change gender with yours. I like that, Jessica. I, I like that. I see that's kind of like what was bothering me. I don't know why either, but just I like your tribe. I like gender. So I think, again, that's why I go back to it just depends on what you yourself need. If you need to be surrounded with healing from from all-inclusive women's group or all-inclusive ma uh, male group, um, then that's something you should seek out. 
but also it, it you know it's more than that because sometimes it's just you know your tribe where whether it be uh, a male female or you know none you know whatever you, whatever it is it might be just you know whatever you need so yeah This is my set. Exactly. Yep. So, yep. Feeling comfortable in your own skin, finding your power or depth of strengthening, of strength and owning it. Exactly. Exactly. Mm hmm. Right, right, right. Exactly, Angie. Okay. So, I'm trying to catch up, y'all. Sorry. So, this is, you know, these are the cards of the day. Um, and I think it's a very important message for Tarot Tuesday and for each and every one of us. It helps us to heal. It will give us opportunity to, opportunity to heal and to create sisterhood or brotherhood or, you know, kinship, you know, uh, circles of uh, groups of people who can come together. And it's funny because I've been thinking about, again, you know, I keep doing this, of, of starting a group of some sort. I wanted to start a forum or something, but... I don't know, uh, where we can just, you know, come together, talk about, you know, witchery and, and I don't know, I'll see, but I feel like there's something coming. I feel like, uh, something needs to be created again. Um, we'll see, but in the meantime, you can check all things witchcraft out the, the Facebook group. That's a good group. Uh, but I feel like something needs to be shifted. And so there will be, more allies and more friends and people that you can vibe with coming into your life right now. So this is a good time for you to focus on what you really want. So what do you want to experience? What do you want your future like? Focus on that. Allow for your attention to focus on the solution. And as you do that, that energy will call out and then create this group of people, this kinship where you can connect with. But before you start to really trust and, and, and give yourself into a group, get all the information, whatever you need right now, get all the information about anything that's going on right now, because you need all of it laid out so you can make a wise decision for yourself. And then when through this process, you will find your true nature, you will step into your authentic self and surround yourself with the things you need to make you feel confident, safe, you know, and comfortable and have a space where you can be encouraged, where you can let go and you can trust the entire process. And as you do that, you find comfort in your body, your spirit, your mind, you find comfort in, in being. And that's like one of the most important things because as you're comfortable in your own temple, as you can express and show yourself in your authentic nature and connect with people and be happy, you also share the energy with them and it ignites something in them. Not that that's your responsibility, but this is what we can do for each other, for ourselves. We share that spark they get sparked up like hey and they think about it and then they get sparked up and they think about it and so when we can all connect and, and remain in our authentic nature and trust that we we shift and grow as a whole and it's a beautiful um experience okay so Oh, well, I'm glad that you found me too. Thank you. Hey, sweetie. Sweetie, sorry. <laughs> well, what's your name? Sweetie. Sweetie Sarah. Hey. Uh, oh, that's powerful, Jessica. Yeah. Well, it finally freed me from my attachment to outward appearance was having cancer. I was always able to present myself as I wished physically, uh, but my authentic self was always present. Yeah. So I think that totally puts things, you know, it's not necessary for everyone. Let's just put that out there. Uh, but, you know, sometimes that's, it happens when we have that happen. It's like, oh, wow, it's a great, um, this understanding. So that's powerful. Wow. Okay. So, research. Well, hey, Catherine. Okay, so I am catching up, and here I go. Okay, so that's all three cards. So this is these are the cards of our day for Tuesday, Tarot Tuesday, December fourth, twenty eighteen. Um, I am getting ready to do a video for my patrons. So if you want 
to become a part of the Patreon experience, patreon.com slash the Deviant Witch. You can find it in the description of this video. And just for $3 a month, you can uh, get a lot of exclusive content. You get monthly Zodiac videos, and certain tiers have more, more stuff that you can get. But every day, Monday through Friday, we do cards of the day. Tuesday, obviously, we do the public card of the day. Every, you know, the other days are private and they're in the Patreon group where we have our own space. Um, I also do Monday through Friday uh, a magical video. Then I also do workshops. Uh, we have psychic training. There's so much that I offer in my Patreon experience. You're more than welcome to join. Uh, it's not necessary, but if you want to join in the fun in our little community, feel free to do so. Otherwise, I will talk to you all next Tuesday. And at any moment, like if you have any suggestions for content that you want to see on the page, like anything that you like, always feel free to connect with me and I'll be happy to do what I can when I can. Um, but I really do appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, you mean the world to me and I love doing the work that I do. So thank you so much for allowing me and, and sharing this space with me. I will talk to you either later today or I will talk to you next Tuesday, okay? Have fun, be blessed, and what do we always say? Uh, trust your magic and step into your power. Blessed be.